Welcome back to this guy's ranch. Today we have a gun battle. And in this corner we have the Astro Dramatic 4008 series paint gun. It is a conventional. It has been the mainstay for body shops for a hundred years. And in this corner we have the cheap Amazon. Canadian Tool Supply Company paint gun. Canadian is apple pie. So we've been calling it the apple pie gun. This gun, I've used it a couple of times now. I've uh, It's won the previous gun battle, and I've put on some clear coat with it. So for the price, I can certainly recommend this gun. And this one, today is going to be the test to seal the deal. gun battle here and a good tech tip if you're painting you want to make sure you're painting warm panels so I liberated my wife's fabulous pro it was made in Italy and it has a engine by Ferrari Another thing you want to keep in mind when you're painting also is uh, make sure that you have uh, your reducer selected for the temperature that you're painting at. Um, we're just getting the heat built up here so uh, the brag is warm but the panels are still cold so that's why I'm warming them up. So before you paint with any of these guns, these cheap guns, especially the cheap guns, Right now I'm just washing up my panel here to make sure that it's clean of any contaminants. So even though it's just been painted recently, it's been handled. Then it'll help get the dirt off. But uh yeah, before you do any any painting with these cheap guns, make sure you get a good strong thinner or even a gun wash. And clean these guns out. Take them apart, clean them out because uh, because they're cheap. They will be oiled up so they don't rust before they get in your hands. And oil and paint don't mix. Speaking from experience. So we'll let this dry off. I'll get it tacked up. Get my mask on and we'll get ready to go do some paint. And another thing you should do before every paint job is uh, open up your uh, your water traps. Make sure there's no water in them. If your compressor has a drain valve on the bottom, make sure that you open it up, let all the water come out the compressor. You want to have the best chance for success. And water getting spit into your paint gun will make for a bad day. All right, let's get these packed off and paint it up. Both our guns are full. And this is a $80 quart of urethane paint that they mismatched. It's got the color around, so perfect for my purposes here. I was able to pick up that quart of paint for 20 bucks. Of course the hardener is 50 bucks that goes into the paint, so these guns have staying cheap to do, so if you like them, let me know. I can do more of them. And hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out. Alright, we've got our gun set up here. So I'm going to back it off all the way to get my gun set up here and turn it in three turns. That should get me pretty close. All right, you like that green color? All right, I'm going to get my mask on and start painting. Now this gun I picked up from Amazon here, I, I paid 35 bucks for it, so I really have no right to complain. 
But if I had one complaint about it, I'm not very fussy on the cup. It, it's it's hard to get started. But once you get started, I haven't had a leak with it yet, so I haven't had any drops. So for 35 bucks, I'm not going to complain. And for that money, I can recommend that gun. Right off the bat, first pull of the trigger, this gun just feels like home. It has a nice spray pattern to it. I really, really like it. Uh, I'm a fan of the old conventional siphon feed guns. Uh, they only come out of style because they're not quite efficient with paint and most body shops they're required to use a HVLP gun, but at home we're not uh, strangled by them requirements. This gun has a 1.8 fluid tip, so it's it's easy to work. Uh, you get enough fluid out, you have enough air to disperse the fluid. It uh, it's really easy to work with. Now, begrudgingly, this Amazon paint gun has been working fantastic. Uh, really, no complaints. Other than the cup, uh, I'm not not a big fan of the cup. And you could change that cup. This gun has a smaller 1.4 fluid needle, so it does move quite a bit of product for for this style gun. And actually, with that fluid needle, the cup size is actually a little small. It's got a 600 milliliter cup size on it. But it does lay out a nice coat of paint. I have no complaints with it. And that's the first coat from the Amazon gun, the gravity gun. And this is the siphon gun. You can see right right away, the, even with the first coat, that paint laid down like glass. I'm a big fan of the siphon feed. Because, uh... I'm just checking here to make sure that the paint, uh... is tacky enough to put a second coat on. Round two. You can move fast and efficiently with this, and that's how you get on a, a nice, even coat of paint. This gun just works good. I paid fifty dollars to the door for a Canadian. You could probably, I think, I've seen them on Amazon for thirty dollars U.S. So. It's a cheap gun to buy, and I don't think you can get a better finish from any gun for any amount of money. And this Amazon gun, it'd be a, it's a dynamite touch-up gun. I wouldn't paint a complete with it, only because the cup size is a little small. You'd be filling the gun too much. You, 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 You'd be working too hard just to try to keep paint in the gun. But for small, uh, small touch-ups, this gun is fantastic. And it lays out a nice coat of paint. I, I can't really take anything away from the paint. It's just... The siphon feed gun just lays it out with glass. You can you can really see how nice that 
so I can feed paint, paint on lays down the paint. Mirror finish. That's as good a finish as you're ever going to get out of a paint gun. And there's nothing wrong with that finish either. There's just a small hint of maybe a little bit of orange peel in it. N not enough that anybody would even complain about it. I'd be happy to have, have my whole vehicle look like that. And the only difference here is is the gun. The paint was mixed the same. It was all mixed in one batch. And the reason these guns work so well, I'm just checking, make sure it's tacky enough for another coat of paint here. Round three. And the reason these guns work so good is because they're designed for the compressor and the airlines that we have at home so these guns are DIY compatible for sure you won't have to buy any special airlines or special fittings these guns will work at home there will be links in the description for both of these guns I'm, I'm truly impressed with this gun. Happy about it. Happy with the two of them really and the steel line from Chuck from the Panther platform. Really, I have no complaints with either of these guns. Uh, both definitely value for money. You wouldn't get a better finish from any paint gun for any amount of money than that. That's as good as it gets. And I'm quite happy with that as well. No losers there. to be a winner. Also, I uh, just thought I'd take the time to mention the reason why I'm using single paint, single stage paint here is because it's what you should be learning with. If you can paint single stage paint, you can learn anything. It's as far as viscosity goes, it's in the middle of the road, so it's a good versatile paint that will test the limits of any paint gun. What's wrong with that finish? To be honest with you, I don't know why people turn their nose up at single stage paint. Well, I'm happy to say there's no clear loser in this battle, but there is a clear winner. Um, I gotta say, I'm I'm seriously impressed with this conventional paint gun. It laid paint out as nice as I've seen paint get laid out of a gun in a long time. Uh, value for money, I paid $50 for this Canadian. The the other, the Apple Pie gun, I paid $35 for. Both extremely good value for money. If I was going to paint a complete, I would pick this gun up first. 
As far as the do-it-yourself goes, I don't think there's a better bang for the buck than this Astromatic. It's great to get started with, and uh, for me, it gave me flawless operation. So, uh, extremely happy with it. So that's going to wrap up this episode of This Guy's Ranch. Hit that like button if you like this content. Leave a comment down below. You can hit that subscribe button. It's going to be right there. You can watch another video right around here until the next time. This guy. Thanks, everybody.